Hey guys, welcome back to S Motorsports. Uh, today I got an install for you. And that install is we're going to replace the throttle body with an LT5 95 millimeter throttle body. Sorry for the heater noise, but it is cold out. I'm trying to warm up the garage a little bit. Um, so bear with me on that. But like I said, today we got a throttle body. It should be a pretty easy install. Just gonna swap the uh, stock one for the 95 uh, millimeter throttle body. And excuse my mess on the bench. I have not had a chance to clean stuff up, but uh, I'll show you what I picked up. So we got a throttle body adapter. This one I got from Solar Performance, uh, which I got this off of Amazon, I believe. I'll put the link in the description. But it came, you know, with the adapter piece. Um, which we'll see how good it matches up to the LT2 intake, which I'm curious about. Um, got the hardware to make it all work. So that's that. And then this is the part number for the GM Thyro body. Again, I got this off Rock Auto. I mean, it wasn't that bad at all. Just check out the prices on there. That's probably gonna be your cheapest bet. Let's see what this looks like. Woo! Yes. <sighs> Clear that off. Wow. I mean, turn that around, orientate it the same way. That looks nice. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. But, uh, I mean, that looks nice. I mean, it's just a stock throttle body, but it looks, I mean, it looks pretty nice. So, Let's get the old one off and then we will do a comparison. As you can see, that was super easy to take off. Uh, four bolts, pops right off. Um, my gasket looks like that's in good shape. I do have new ones, but I there's really no reason probably not to reuse that gasket. So let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Visually, you can just see the 95 millimeter looks way bigger. It's not that much bigger, but okay. So I wanna kinda give a little bit of my reasoning by going with the 95 millimeter. Obviously they have bigger ones, 10, you know, 102, 103 millimeters that you can use on the MSD intake. The LT2 intake is not, you know, it can't accept the 103 throttle bodies without port work and you can't even port them enough to accept that. The, the stock throttle body um, this engine, if you use like a CFM calculator, you know, call it, this engine uses roughly, let's call it 800 CFM um, on a good day. Like if it was a racing carb, you know, is what I'm going off of. 800 CFM. This, this throttle body, uh, if you look on Solar uh, Performance's website, they have some flow curves of like the stock 87 millimeter throttle body, um, as well as a stock 95 millimeter throttle body and the Solar Performance 95 millimeter ported throttle body. They're saying the stock throttle body, I think it was like a thousand CFM, which should be enough to support this engine. More of a throttle response that I'm trying to get out of this and maybe a little bit of horsepower along with the other mods that I'm doing. But this uh, throttle body in a stock form can flow, it's like, 1200 or 1300 I think it's 1300 CFM so a little bit more margin and again with this throttle body for the same 
throttle opening angle is going to flow more air. So call it 50 degree throttle angle opening flows a given amount of air. The same 50 degree throttle open, open angle is going to flow more air on the 95 millimeter. It's going to be snappier. You know, you're going you're gonna to get it the full amount of air quicker. And, I've, and people are going to say, oh, well, it's going through the same, you know, 87 millimeter down opening because you're necking it down, which is true. But this has an effective area that it's going through because of when the blades open, you still have the blade and this bar that's taking up some of that area. So if you figure that out, so this area, if you didn't have the bar, is like 5,700 millimeters squared then minus the bar which I figured was like 500 millimeters squared. So you're talking like 5100, 5200 uh, effective millimeter squared opening size. This one on the other hand, it's like 7000 something millimeters squared minus the bar. You still have over, you have like 6000 something millimeters squared. You have a quite a bit more. So then you say, okay, well, then you got the 87 millimeters unrestricted. There's nothing in there. So if you just figure out 87 millimeters, what is that area? That's 5,700. So you have more than 5,700 here. So basically what I'm trying to say is the throttle body is not going to be the restriction at that point. It's the inlet. So you're, you have a little margin there versus this one. It's going to be 5,200 versus the totally open port at 57. So the throttle body is going to be the restriction at some point. Not saying my power levels are there, but this ensures that the throttle body is not that restriction. It's the opening in the intake, which I'm totally fine with. So hopefully that makes sense in my reasoning, you know, right or wrong, that's my reasoning that, you know, hopefully this is not the restriction and it picks up, if, if nothing else, a little snappier throttle. All right, so we're going to put the solar adapter plate on. See how that fits, check the fitment to the, in, the LT2 intake and see what that looks like. Okay hey guys, this is probably gonna be really hard to see, but I'll try and show you. I don't know if you can see, but there is a little tiny lip. Um, so you, I think you're just gonna have to trust me on this, but there is a little tiny lip. So if I pull back, I can actually catch that just a little bit. And it's, it is all the way around, just a tiny little bit. Um, which honestly, that's kind of a good thing. Um, which means I'm gonna, right now, um, I don't really have the time. Um, I think I'm just gonna throw the LT5 in, uh, throttle body on with the adapter and knowing that I will have to come back in here, which it's super easy to pop the intake off and do this. I'll have to pop this back off and kind of uh, um, take some of this material off of the adapter to closer match up the intake. The, the LT2 intake must be just a hair bigger. So we got the throttle body installed. So it's it's gonna be again, hard to see, but the transition from the 95 millimeter throttle body to the adapter, that feels really good. Like there's no ridge there. Um, it's nice and smooth and it feels that way 
all the way around. But again, you know, you stick your hand in, you, you don't feel the ridge there uh, between the adapter and the throttle body, but you can definitely feel that ridge farther in. So, like I said, I'll have to remove that. But uh, I, I think it looks pretty good. I like that adapter. So hopefully, let's see what my intake looks like since that pushes that out a little bit for, uh, out a little bit more. All right guys, so we'll do a startup, see how it, how it idles. Also, I got uh, my wideband gauge installed. This is just kind of a temporary solution. I got the wires kind of running down. My plan is to do all my tuning, hopefully more beginning of this summer. And then when I'm satisfied that, you know, everything looks good and I got everything dialed in, I'm going to remove this then. Um, and it's, if I ever want to do it again, um, if I add a new part, it's pretty easy enough to install back in because it has a spot in the exhaust for it already with the speed engineering pipes. And then how I wired it in, I just hooked it up to a 12 volt. So when I hop in, I'll plug it in, fires it up um, and should be good to go. Also, I got my laptop here uh, with HP tuners. Um, so I'm starting to mess around with that. Uh, let me know what you guys what you guys think if you want to see some of that as well um i was thinking i'd probably maybe show you a little bit what i'm doing um i'm no expert by any means but uh you know i'm learning so let's say that also i was seeing that people do i think i gotta oh yeah so i found it it's under airflow and then throttle cleaned so that must, I'm not sure what that does. I think it deletes some of the kind of idle learning that it does. Um, so I'm gonna do a throttle cleaned. So I did the throttle clean. I got my scanner going here. We're gonna give it a start and see what it does. This is not a cold start. Um, as I was running a little bit before, I flashed a tune that I wanted to try um, and then um, was taking a little bit of data log on what the idle looked like. It is idling down just fine. What do we got here? Yeah, like six, 600, six, 650. Yeah, I think 650 is a set point right now for how cold it is. I don't know, that seems pretty good. I don't know if nothing else, it sounds good still. I like it. But yeah, thanks for joining in guys. Um, let me know what you guys think about the throttle body. Um, if you've done that yourself, if it's a worthwhile upgrade, um, I, I think it, it, it's not gonna hurt anything. <laughs> and um, uh, hopefully a little bit more throttle response. It's hard to tell just rev, free revving the engine. So once I get out and drive it, um, obviously it's probably gonna be totally different. So it's not gonna be just attributed to the throttle body as I've changed a lot now over this winter. So um, very excited to <clears throat> get the car driving and see what it does. So, all right, stay tuned for some drives, hopefully coming up soon.